everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I took a week off last week because I was smack dab in the middle of finals and then I got the stomach flu. This week I was supposed to review some Revlon liquid lipsticks, but I feel like I need one more week to actually like get my thoughts together because I only just started using them. So that will be next week, but this week I have a tutorial that I'm very excited for because I love how it turned out and I kind of just winged it. I'm a big fan of wine shades during the winter with accents of gold and you've seen that in a lot of my other holiday looks. So this one kind of brings more more warmth to it, a little bit more bronziness to it, and I really like how it came out. I'm actually going to a holiday party tonight, so definitely gonna just keep this face on because I feel glam and in charge. So if you wanna know how to get this look, keep a watching. All right, starting off with the e.l.f. eyelid primer in sheer, of course. So for this look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35W palette, which looks like this. A lot of warm colors, a lot of champagnes and purples. So I'm going to take this Camel Brown and lay that down as a transition shade. So I'll just put that in and above my crease, and that'll make the smokiness look more diffused later on. Next I'm going to be using this color which is sort of a fusion between brown and purple. I know it looks a little bit more purple on camera. And I'm going to focus that in my outer V and in my crease. Next I'm going to be taking this really pretty color. It's like a duochrome cranberry bronze shade and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. All over the mobile lid anyway. So I'm not going to cover up too much of the outer corner that we just did, um, but a little bit of overlap is okay. And I am going to bring that all the way in here, but kind of lay off the tear duct a little bit. So that's where we're at so far. I'm gonna bring that bronzy cranberry down onto my lower lash line as well. And I'm gonna take this warm yellow gold and pop that in the middle of the eyelid, just the middle, kind of going for a halo eye, as well as the middle of the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna dab that right on the middle where my iris would be if my eye was open. And I'm not bringing that too high either. I'm definitely not gonna get the gold into the crease. And you might need to add a couple layers to make this show up over the darker color there. But it'll get this really cool duochrome effect like so. I'm just gonna pop a little tiny bit on the lower lash line too. And now I'm just gonna take this really light champagne, I'm gonna dot that in my tear duct and highlight my brow bone with that. This is one of my favorite, oh, make sure you clean your brush first. <laughs> what I was saying is this is one of my favorite tear duct highlights because it really just brightens up the eye. And it's a really beautiful champagne color. So see how that really just adds that glow there, so I'm going to add that as well underneath my brow bone. So that's it for eyeshadow at this point. I'm going to tight line as well as add a tiny line of liner right up against my upper lash line with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in Slate Gray. And I'm really just getting this up against the lashes to make them look thicker. And I'm going to add a little bit of dark purple shadow over it, which will smudge out. So it doesn't need to be a lot, just very, very thin right up against the lashes. So now with a little angled brush, I'm going to go back in to this deep purple brown shade that we put in our outer V. And I'm going to trace that over and smoke that a little bit out. Um, our upper lash line that we just laid that eyeliner down. And 
And I like to just wing it out a tiny bit, but because it's so smudgy, it's not like an obvious cat eye type deal. It's just kind of lifting the eye out. And then you can add a little bit to the outer corner on the lower lash line as well. And go ahead and curl your lashes. So for my mascara, I'm using the Boots Number no. 7 Exceptional Definition Mascara. This is like my new favorite from the drugstore slash Target. Um, it is amazing and I owe it all to the brush which has so many little bristles on it and it just really defines and fans them out for like a naturally full and lush look. So apply that generously, otherwise just apply your favorite mascara. You guys know I'm not a falsies kind of person, mostly because I hate sharp things near my eyes and putting falsies on like with tweezers freaks me out. I'll do it sometimes for special events, um, but I'd much rather just have a mascara that makes my lashes look bomb. And this is kind of my go-to for that right now. Like look at that fanning out, I love it. Now it shouldn't come to anybody's surprise that I'm gonna be using the Pixi Natural Contour Powder for my contour because it is the only thing I'm using right now in terms of bronzer and definition for the face. And I'm using that with the Real Techniques Bold Metal Flat 301 brush. And that really gets into the cheekbones. Bring that down a little bit too. Blend it out. Now I have cheekbones. I'm in a What's Up type of mood, so I'm going to use my mini What's Up highlighter. And I totally suggest you splurging on this highlighter, um, not only because it's still one of my very, very favorites across drugstore and high, high end, but they sell little mini travel sizes like this for, I don't know, like 10 bucks and they last freaking forever. Like years, I'm telling you. I still want to try their high beam though because that looks just gorgeous, but for now, this is my favorite. And it's just kind of more convenient than a full on liquid highlighter. And for my blush, I'm using the City Color Cheek Stain Stick, and this is in the shade Mixed Berry Sorbet. And it's kind of a neutral berry shade, not too pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that on my cheeks, and then I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Stippling Brush, which is my favorite for cream blush like this, and just go ahead and blend that out. All right, we're finishing off the look with one of the new e.l.f. matte lip colors in Scarlet Night, which is a beautiful, deep, deep oxblood shade. I love these things because they're like lip liner and lipstick in one, and they last. So this is gonna be really pretty. How freaking gorgeous is that lip color though? All right, so this is the finished look. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic time celebrating the holidays with your family. Don't forget there is still two weeks left to enter my big holiday giveaway with the Clarisonic prize and the Smashbox prize. There are two winners that will be chosen. Link in the description for that. Like I said, next week I will have a review of those Revlon matte liquid lipsticks for you. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that and hit that thumbs up button if you like how this look came out. I will see you in my next video. Bye! So I just added some bronzer and highlighter. I'm not going to do blush just because we've got so much color on the eyes. I don't want to compete with it. And I'm also going...